So that's the view from Brazil. Fellow BRIC member Russia will also be impacted by the slowdown in Europe and also in the United States. On Tuesday, I spoke with Andrei Kostin, the president of Russia's VTB Bank. He told me how his country will be indirectly affected by what's going on in the world's bigger economies. I think the same concern all around the world. I spoke to leading American uh, bankers here, and I think they share the same uh, view. I mean, uh, as we in Russia, the Russian economy is doing uh, pretty well. Uh, but, of course, if there is a global recession caused by the crisis in Europe, particularly in, in Greece and other countries, that will inevitably affect Russian economy. And how much would it affect the Russian economy? We already saw how much Russia was affected back in 2008, 2009. Would it be worse this time if we got a double dip? Well, I mean, on one hand, the Russian financial sector, for example, or banking sector, are not directly exposed to uh, European debt. But on the other hand, of course, uh, if this European crisis uh, will result in uh, uh, recession, uh, into the decrease of commodity prices on the basic Russian export commodities, that will be a very bad scenario for Russia. I think Russia is better prepared from the point of view of financial sector to face the situation, but still Russian leading industries, Russian leading enterprises will be badly affected. Um, and we have to spend again our uh, special funds and reserves and uh, I think the scenario will be similar to what we had in 2008. Though, again, the general opinion all across uh, Atlantic uh, that uh, this scenario is probably uh, not very probable, that we can avoid the situation. The situation will be better because the American economy as well as the emerging market economies are, are doing pretty well. Now, Mr. Kostin, I'm glad you raised the issue of banks and financial institutions. Some people are saying that's at the heart of the kind of crisis we're seeing today. And Russia has seen plenty of reform and need for reform in its banking sector. How worried are you as the head of a Russian bank about the banking industry in Russia? Well, Russia definitely uh, does need reform, not only in the uh, financial sector, but in the economy in general. You know, we are uh, planning to modernize the uh, Russian economy, to restructure it, to bring new technologies into the different industries. As far as the banking sector is concerned, uh, there is a um, progressive um, modernization of the Russian banking sector. I still think that there are too many banks in Russia, uh, that many banks are not capitalized enough. But I think today, the Russian banking sector is much better prepared to stand uh, problems uh, which we face, for example, uh, in 2008. And the government and central bank are quite ready, uh, for example, to provide additional liquidity and so on and so forth. But I agree with you, we do need uh, more um, changes in the banking sector and in the supervision, which is in, in Russia on one hand is quite severe, on the other hand uh, is not endorsed properly. Now, we've talked about reforms for the country's economy, we've talked about reforms for the bank, sector and then in the midst of all of this we've got Russia's finance minister's sudden departure of Alexei Kudrin. What does that say for investors in Russia? It is being perceived as a negative sign. How do you view this? Well, I think, uh, of course, it's a pity that uh, Mr. Kudrin left the government. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, and uh, I know for some time that he had his plans because he was a minister for more than 11 years, and he worked in the ministry for probably about 15 years, and he wanted some new challenges in his life. He wanted some new drive, you know, in some, in some, uh, in some other area or in, in different capacities. So it was expected, but of course not, not, not today. Today I think it's, uh, uh, well, it, it is of course, uh, will be not very easy to replace him because he's a very experienced person, and uh, during the time of turmoil uh, on the stock markets and in financial sector, uh, of course uh, that'll, that'll be not easy. But on the on the other hand, I think uh, the government is working, uh, the situation is under control, and I, I think uh, we will manage uh, whatever problems we might expect now in financial sector. In a moment, the amateur trader who whipped up a storm, but some people who heard Alessio Rastani's controversial TV interview didn't buy him. Hear our very own interview with him when we come back. Get your front row seat and back.